here's the deal. At Sand Creek High School, um, we've made a few commitments, and the commitments are these. We will increase achievement among all students including academics and 21st century skills through high quality research-based instruction. Sounds good, right? Makes sense. Number two, we will develop and promote an engaged community through community outreach, service, and partnership with our community. And number three, we will embrace a culture and climate of inspiration, notice I didn't say innovation, inspiration, acceptance, and belief that all students will achieve at high levels. That all makes sense, right? Okay, makes good sense, I agree. So, to put the script down, at Sand Creek High School, we're not satisfied with where we're at. Are we a very good school? Yes, we are, absolutely. I see it every day in the hallways, in classrooms, but the bottom line is, is, the, is that even good organizations can get better. And that's really why we're here today. And one of the things that schools typically do not do a great job of is what? Engage the community, absolutely. We don't typically reach out to the community to really crowdsource, essentially, good ideas to implement for our students. And that's why we're here today. What we're hoping is to get people to actually have ideas on how they can help to change some of the things that we've said and some things that are yet to have been said and just letting us know what they're capable of contributing, any ideas they have, how they can help out. As we go on, we're going to want to get stuff going and actually continue this. So we're actually going to stay and we're going to work and we're going to keep this going for a while. And then in December, we're going to actually begin to implement the plans that we've made here today and coming up and to just start to make the school a better place, then we're going to look back on it next school year in January of 2013, so actually right after December. And that's when we're going to start getting things going around the school and starting to really want to make a change. Well, I think if we could have Sand Creek be the implement of change, at least in our zone, and people who don't have children here see that change, hear that change, meet these teenagers, because there's a lot of great teenagers in this district and in this zone, and maybe then we'll see the community get more involved when we do go out to the community and ask for things. A lot of students are proud to be in this district because I choice in here, and I talk to a lot of the students, and they're very proud to be at Sand Creek. They used to tell me a lot of positive things about this school. That's why I chose. I came last week looking for this group. I'm hungry. And I know there's other people like me here. I'm hungry to connect. I just joined the, um, the Booster Club. The Booster Club has parents who have had graduated students for past, haven't had a student in Sand Creek for almost four years. Those are dedicated community people. We are hungry to connect. We, we found that one of the things that we really should do is reach out to those individuals in the community that may want to volunteer their time that's instructional and beneficial for the children. We believe in self-empowerment. Personal contribution to the school is what the kids we should enable them to be able to personally contribute and not be afraid to personally contribute. I think it's important to know that things like, you know, building your credit, we didn't put on our sheet, but I'll mention about credit scores and building credit, all those things, those basic life skills, those business skills are very important, especially for a young generation that as we know we're going to live longer, you can't outlive your retirement. So I think all those things that we start formulating and formalizing, if that makes sense, we've got to put into not just bits and pieces, but really get across the whole school. But I would close by saying I think it's just so important we as parents at times know what we think we want our students to understand. It's a different world we live in right now. We need to listen so we can be very open-minded to moving forward with, with resolutions, if that makes sense. Thanks.